In today's video, I'm gonna be painting these wheels using Duplicolor's wheel paint. So let's get started with the process of how I do that. I'm gonna do this thing my way. Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day. It's okay. We work hard, then we all play. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So we're gonna be painting these wheels using Duplicolor's uh, wheel paint. I got the primer, the base color, and then the clear for Duplicolor. And I'm gonna take these wheels off here. We're gonna scuff them up, sand them down, put some note cards all around, and uh, get these things painted. And I'll go over that process. So let me get the tripod so we can set this all up. All right, so got both the wheels off. It's on a jack stand and the jack is supporting it. So we're gonna take these to the back and we'll go start prepping them. So we're on the back porch. Uh, I put up some plastic over here to block the wind from coming in. It's working pretty well. And we have a tarp over on this side. Now these are exposed, so we're just trying to keep the uh, wind down to a minimum. So we've got the wheels back here. We're gonna prep them using some 120 on the harder areas because there are some areas in here that need some uh, major attention from curb scraping. We'll use the 120 on those. The rest will be done with a Scotch-Brite pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these with some wax and tar remover, wipe them down, and then get started sanding. So I will be using Duplicolor's grease and wax remover to wipe these down. So I'm just gonna use a clean towel and wipe them down. Make sure to keep switching spots on the towel, that way you have a clean spot, that way you're not rubbing grease and stuff into the paint. Alright, on these, I'm going to be getting new tires and rebalanced, so I'm going to go ahead and pop all these wheel weights off, clean all this up with a wire wheel, that way it has the cleanest possible look. So I couldn't find any wire brushes, but I did find a drill with an 80 grit flapper wheel, and I'm gonna just gonna use that. Now it's nice and smooth right here. We're gonna go ahead and prep the rest of the wheel. All right, now we can flip over to the front side. All right, so here on the front, I have the power sander. I'm just gonna knock everything down that's flat with some 120. Now, I'm going to take the sandpaper off the sander and get in these harder to reach spots. Making sure everywhere is sanded pretty well because we want this paint to stick and last a long time. All 
All right, I got this all sanded. Now I'm gonna wipe it down one more time. Then we'll go ahead and put the note cards all the way around. I'm just using some cheap index cards to do this. Some wheels are easier than others to do when putting the index cards in. All right, so I like to use Duplicolor's engine uh, enamel primer with ceramic coating. This stuff is really good and it withstands heat up to 500 degrees. Your brakes get really hot. So I like to use this because the brakes transfer the heat to the wheels. So it works really good as a primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this as the base coat and then we have to let that dry. Then we can shoot the gold color, which is the closest to bronze they had. And then we'll be shooting the gloss over it. So let's get started painting. All right, so now we got the primer on the face of it done. I'm gonna have to tilt it on its side to get the rest of the inside. Right now we wait about five minutes because this is fast drying primer and then we can shoot the base coat all right here's the base coat it's gold it's the closest i could find to bronze and i think it'll look really good um, this has been drying for about five minutes so now we'll go ahead and paint this on make sure to shake the cans very well All right, the face of them is done. Uh, I tried to get every single possible angle while it's laying down. Now I'm going to put it on its side and uh, get the rest of it. Okay, so I didn't have to remove the note cards. They stayed in place pretty well. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for about five minutes and then hit it, then hit it with the clear coat. Um, this does say to do all of your coats within one hour. So primer, base, and clear all within one hour. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then we'll hit it with that clear. All right, I hit the inside and outside with the clear. I'll go ahead and remove the note cards now. We'll let this dry and see how it looks. All right, this is with it dry. It looks pretty good. Um, as for right here, I am getting new wheels and tires, so I wasn't worried about removing the valve stem. But if you want to not paint over it, um, tape it up with some tape and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the center cap back in here. 
and then we'll go put it on the car and see how it looks. All right, so it looks really good on there. Unfortunately, the brakes look crappy, so I might paint the brakes red while we have the wheels off. I just set it up there. I have the wrong style of lug nuts for these wheels, so I think I'm gonna go buy some of the key insert kind instead of these spline lock lug nuts. That way we don't ruin that paint. So I have to go do the other wheel first, and then we'll go get those lug nuts and put them both on, lower it down, see how it looks. All right, so I went and grabbed these before O'Reilly's closed. These are the kind I need that have the uh, open end. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this wheel down, paint it, and then we'll go throw these on the car. Alright, I'm gonna go put it on the car and uh, see how it looks lowered down onto the ground. Alright, so this is the wheels back on the car. I think it looks pretty good on there. Get up close for you. You can see they look pretty, pretty nice. Um, I didn't have any red to paint the brakes, so I'll have to do that in another video. But I think it looks overall pretty good. Now I am getting new tires, so that's the only reason I didn't remove the valve stem. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good overall. I think this color really accents it quite well. Um, so yeah, that's how you use Duplicolor's uh, wheel paint to paint wheels. But overall, looks pretty good. They almost look like they came that way, and that was kind of the goal. Now I will be lowering this um, just to get rid of the gap. I won't be slamming it because I'm not into that. I'm not into the slammed cars or anything. But I do want to lower it a little bit so it gets rid of that gap. It will look a lot better after that. Um, I will be doing door jams in a up and coming video soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. How to paint the door jams. And uh, yeah, so there's the progress of the Civic so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy making these videos. So. so yeah, if you guys enjoy the videos, there will be a link in the description if you want to help contribute to the channel. I'm not begging for donations. I'm just saying if you want to donate, I am accepting. Um, a lot of people have been sending me emails saying that I need to get a P.O. box, so I might be getting one soon so they can send me fan mail, which would be really cool because I, I love interacting with you guys and seeing what you guys have to say and helping as many people out there as I can do it themselves for cheap. So here it is. Give you one last little walk of the Civic. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I highly recommend this Duplicolor wheel paint for anyone that wants to change the color of their wheels. So it definitely works pretty well. So stay tuned to the channel, uh, like this video, drop me a comment, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.